YouTube this is Techzo back from Techzo channel and today I got a new video for you guys so today I'll be showing you guys how to update your Galaxy Tab S6 to One UI 2.5 so Samsung has started rolling out the update for the Galaxy Tab S6 the LTE and Wi-Fi models uh, this will be particularly for the uh, Wi-Fi model for the US um, I know other regions have started to get the update in Germany and Korea um, So pretty much I'll be showing you how to flash the official update if you can't wait for Your update to reach your device here in the US. So this device um, Model is the SM-T860. This is the Wi-Fi model uh, specifically the XAR CSC, I believe this is the cellular south version um, That's what it is. I believe according to Sam mobile so you can flash the Germany uh, version build which is the um, The T860 XX U3 BTI2 build so as you guys can see here it says one UI wide version 2.5 and of course the Android version is Android 10 and then I just stated the um, build number. So as for the security patch, you can see it says here, Android security patch level, September 1st, 2020. So that is the security patch level for this update. So um, the procedure in updating this tablet to One UI 2.5, is very simple um, there's pretty much little to no risk as a matter of fact this method is guaranteed to work however if you do decide to do this method I will not be responsible if your device gets bricked or somehow it has a problem um, I've been doing this method for many many years with Samsung devices and I've never had a problem but if you do decide to do this proceed at your own risk because I will not be responsible if anything happens to your device all right so getting started with the flashing process it's really easy so the first thing you would do is go to sammobile.com and then you would go to the firmware section and then clicking on download the latest firmware and going to the my model number section and typing in SM-T860, you would click on that here, and then you will see all the version software uh, builds here. So we're going to go to the Germany version, and you guys can see here it says country Germany CSC version DBT. So if you do choose to download the firmware from Sam Mobile, it does require you to create an account and if you choose uh, the free account version, you will get access to downloads, but your speeds will be slow. If you are a premium user, um, or should I say you have an account, um, but you are a premium member where you do pay, your speeds for the downloads will not be throttled. You will have fast download. So um, if you don't want to have your speeds throttled and don't want to pay, I will just recommend you use Freeja. So Freeja is a software uh, firmware fetcher tool. I believe it's only for Samsung where you can download Samsung firmware for your device. So um, as you guys can see here, this is an XDA form and it uh, talks about the tool here and it just gives you the link to download so the latest version here is 1.4.2 um, pretty much you would download this here and then um, that would be that so taking a look at the actual tool here you would just click on the feature tool here and um, you would put in your model number so in this case it will be SM-T860 and we would put the CSC DBT as we saw on Sam Mobile, and then click on check for update. So as I showed earlier on the Tab S6, the uh, software version is T860XXU3BTI2. So we would download this here, 
and then extract it. So that's what you're going to do. Download the um, build, extract it, and then flash it. So to actually flash it, you're going to need the Odin tool. So I'm going to leave the link for the Odin in the description below. So um, once the file is done extracted, you'll see that it'll have a BLAP and CSC name. Um, well, CSC before the actual build file name. So you would match it with the corresponding section and then just start to flash it. So to actually do it on the uh, Galaxy Tab S6, you will need to, of course, wipe your device, uh, perform a factory data reset and clear the cache partition. So to um, do a factory data reset, you could just uh, power off your device and then press the power button and volume up. Hold that for about five seconds after the boot up screen shows up and then let go and then just using the uh, volume keys to scroll down or should I say select the um, perform front data reset and then clicking or should I say using the volume keys again to select yes and then um, doing the cache partition clearing that out as well using the volume keys and then powering off the phone so then after that you would put your phone in download mode so um, you would choose the option to uh, reboot the bootloader which will put your device in download mode so after you clear the cache partition and perform the factory data reset that's what you would do put the phone um, or use the volume key should I say uh, to select reboot the bootloader and it would put the phone or should I say the tablet Galaxy Tab S6 in download mode now for the uh, Freezer tool to get it to work you do need to be on the latest version of Windows you need to be on the latest version of Windows you need to have I believe uh, all the Microsoft uh, visual redistributable C++ files x86 x64 installed as well as the dot net framework um, and uh, that's pretty much it so yeah uh, that's that in regards to the feature tool but then um once you would you know use the Odin tool to flash the uh, the build that's pretty much it now one thing I forgot to mention uh, you do need to have the Samsung USB driver installed because once you put your phone in download mode and actually use the USB uh, type C cable that came with your your uh, tablet uh, once you actually put the device in download mode you have to connect it to your computer so uh, if you don't have the Samsung USB driver installed once you plug it into your um, USB port in your PC this part will be uh, like this grayed out so it needs to be blue so you have to have the uh, USB driver installed and then uh, flash so this part must be blue before you start flashing. Um, but after you do that, pretty much your device is good. Um, you'll be uh, up to date with the latest One UI 2.5 update with the September security patch. Uh, for future updates, software updates, it shouldn't be a problem. But if you do have uh, an issue with software updates later on, you could just go ahead and wipe the device again and flash the official update for your um, region uh, by checking the CSC, so here in the US XAR. But um, me, when I flashed the update, uh, the, the, the CSC didn't change to DBT, it still said uh, XAR, so it shouldn't be a problem where you're, uh, where you're at. So um, that's pretty much it. But if you like this video, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, for more content, this has been Texo from Texo Channel, uh, and I'm out.